Hi everyone, I made a video a little while ago on how to add eye bones to an avatar that doesn't have them. Now, I did that on a 4K monitor, and many people complained that it was a little bit unreadable. So, I decided to go back and redo this quickly on a 1080p monitor, um, as promised. So, here's how to do it. So, let's say you have low poly Conchan, or any other model, or your own model that doesn't have eye movement. Now, you may have created something like this, this doll eye effect, which works pretty well, where it looks like the model is always looking at you. Uh, it has this dish-shaped eyeball, and that's how it, uh, it has that um, always looking at you sort of feel when you rotate around or when you're looking at folks. But you may want to add a little more dynamic to this, or maybe you're working on another model that doesn't have any eye movement, or you got a model without an armature and you're just learning to rig, and you want to do this for VR chat. Well, it's really easy. Essentially, all you have to do is go into edit mode. So you want to click on the base of your model, go into edit mode. You want to press L to select the faces. So if you hover your mouse over a group of faces, like for example this eyepiece, and you, you press L on your keyboard, it will select all the linked faces that your mouse might be over. So it's a really handy trick once you select some things really quickly. So I just pressed L to select this eyepiece and also this eye light. You may find on your model it's a separate piece. So the next thing you want to do is you want to create a vertex group. I've already made one, but I'm going to remove this and remake it. So we're going to call it I underscore R for right. And the naming is important here, and you'll see why in a moment. So if we click Assign, what that's going to do is in Weight Paint mode, you'll notice that now this I has all of the weight for the I underscore right vertex group. And we're going to make a bone to match that. Let's go back into Edit mode and get the other side now. So if I press F3 or Spacebar to search, um, we'll do a mirror selection. You can just type mirror selection to find it, and it's going to select everything on the opposite side. Since this model is perfectly symmetrical, that makes it really easy. You should see 204 faces mirrored for Conchan. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create an I underscore L, and we're going to assign those faces to that vertex group. Okay, so far so good. That's the easy part. So the next part is to create some bones. That's pretty easy too. So we're going to click on the armature. We're going to go to edit mode and we're going to press E to extrude a new bone. If we press Z, it'll lock it on the Z axis. That's what we want. So we're going to click on this one here and we're going to go down to the bone properties tab. In this bone properties tab, we're going to deselect connected and I've just used this Y key here to move in front. And I'm going to press the G key on my keyboard to move the bone into the right position. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the side view and press G and then the Y key to move on the Y axis so that it's above the eyeball roughly in that area. So now we have this uh, head.001 bone. We're going to rename this. This is the right eye bone, so we're going to call it the same thing. I underscore right. Now next, we want this to be on the exact opposite side. There's a nifty little function in here called symmetrize, which recognizes the I underscore right and creates an I underscore left like that. Um, so now, all you have to do is go to pose mode, and you'll see that as long as they're named the same, this should rotate your eye. Now, you may have to do some adjustment in here. You want to rotate on the z-axis, right, to turn the eye this way. You may find that this isn't the way you want it. So what we can do is we can go to the eye tracking section in Cat's Blender plugin, and by no means do you have to do this, but this will create the exact eye bone setup that you probably want for uh, VR chat. Now, in also in uh, edit mode on the armature, you'll notice there's this little X here for moving things symmetrically. Um, you may want to position this as well. So I'm just pressing G and then X. We just want to make sure it's like right in the center. Um, and let's go ahead and do this creation now. So you've got your head, eye left, eye right. Now, Conchan already has blinking um, animation. So this model was already set up for VR chat. So you really don't have to do any of this uh, for the blinking parts of it. Um, but uh, we obviously don't want to disable eye movement either, so we'll go ahead and do create eye tracking. It also recognizes eye left and eye right automatically, so this is pretty useful too. Um, this is going to create another set of bones, I think with the rotations a little bit more correct. Let's go ahead into pose mode and take a look. So we want this one here, this is our left eye, rotate on Z. Yeah, so that's a little bit better. So we've got our up and down rotations and our rotations on Z. For things to be turned properly. So um, if you're looking to the left and you're looking to the right, it, all that will work. So we can go ahead and stop pose mode now, and those eye bones are there, and they're ready to go. If you can add them to the armature uh, descriptor inside SDK3 for avatars, and you're good to go.